Yeah, well, what's up, man? You want to get it started, get it rolling? Uh, yeah, if it's all right with you. Yeah, dude. Come on now. All right, so... Uh, I got all the time in the world. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, if you want to introduce yourself a little bit, just to start it off, you know, say who you are and everything. Okay, well, I'm Drew Morgan. Um, played some high school ball down in Greenwood, Arkansas. Um, I didn't move to Greenwood till my freshman year of high school. Um, before that, Prior to it, I moved roughly about 25 different times. Um, family wasn't in the military. Um, my dad was an entrepreneur, started up businesses, got in it right away. Um, it was good stuff. I mean, I met a lot of people, uh, lost a lot of friends, but, you know, eventually as we got older, you know, we, we reached back to each other. And it's pretty cool. I got friends in just about every state now. Um, but, you know, I, uh, I had about mm, two or three offers going into going into college and parents were going through a little rough stage. So I decided to go to Arkansas uh, two weeks before signing day. Coach B called me up and was like, Hey, I'm coming to come to Arkansas. Um, we we want to honor your scholarship. So I was like, wow, wow that, that's a blessing. I need that uh, big time. Yeah. Um, Coach Malzahn was actually in, uh, in Auburn and he offered me as well. And I was like, crap, you know, Auburn's a, a great school too. But, you know, my heart was in Arkansas. Uh, family was in Arkansas. The fans, <laughs> obviously, in Arkansas are, are, oh, yeah. are one of the best. Uh, so, so I decided to go to Arkansas. And, and from there, um, it's history, man. I, I, uh, I played a lot my, my junior and senior year um, due to a few guys getting injured. Um, the opportunity presented itself, and I took full advantage of it. Got up in the window for me, and I took it, and I ran with it. And I put all my faith in him, and next thing I know, um, I get – undrafted free agent picked up signed with Miami Dolphins uh, played a year there in practice squad second year went into camp did my thing um, they released me and then I had to work out with the Tennessee Titans everything went well went to uh, this new AAF league this past coming up year and we are here now um, yeah so see so you went ahead and just just ran with that and you took you were started getting some questions that I had on paper already answered so I'm going to go back, backtrack a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, go for know, it, dude. Just ask, ask away. Um, playing at Greenwood, did you start there um, playing as a freshman? And did you have you always been a receiver, or when did you start playing receiver? So it was kind of crazy. I was uh, running back my freshman year, and we it, our, our high school was different. So our freshmen had their own school, and it was 8th and ninth grade. Okay. Um, and then high school actually started sophomore, junior, and senior. So I played with a bunch of freshmen my – my first year, and I, I killed it, man. It, it was great. I walked in, and they basically said, "Hey, man, the uh, seventh graders are actually starting later." I said, "Coach, I'm in, I'm in ninth grade. I'm a freshman. I was so small, dude. I was probably five eight, 130 pounds, little, little." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, coach was like, no, "No, no, no way. You can't be." I was like, "Yeah, I'm Drew. I'm the new guy." He goes, "Okay, cool. Put some pads on. Let's go." Went out there, ran a couple routes, and he was like, you're pretty shifty. I think we need to give you the ball in the backfield. And I was like, okay, wherever I you know, can fit in and, and make the biggest uh, impact for the team. And uh, I went away and, and just killed it, man. We, we ended up going undefeated, 10-0, uh, and 0, and won our little freshman state championship, whatever you want to call it, our, our district or region yeah. <laughs> or whatever. You won it all. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I want to know. And then our uh, my sophomore year, I came in and they put me at running back and I didn't start right away but I did score the first touchdown of the year and everybody was like oh this guy's for real and I, I ended up playing every game I played in a state championship won a state championship I didn't do as much as I wanted to um, and then another, another opportunity presented itself at receiver my junior year and I fought coach Jones and coach Young the OC and head coach I fought them and I was like no I want to play running back I wanted to be a running back I, I can't I, I touched the ball too many times. Like, I want the ball. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and and Coach was like, Drew, trust me. In this in this, in this uh, offense, you're going to want to play receiver. So I, I jumped out there, man, and I set every record you could possibly take up in Arkansas. I was like, wow, this is a cool little deal. <laughs> um, <laughs> senior year, I all I had to do was I, I, I had to match what I did my junior year or I had to do better. Um, my senior, I had to do better my senior year. I ended up matching it and, and doing maybe a couple more yards better, a little, fewer touchdowns, but 
in the end, we ended up winning three state championships. Um, I got two MVPs, won the Landers Award. Um, it, was, it was pretty cool, man. I, uh, I was blessed um, to, to be in such a great you know, offense and great guys around me. Those guys, we, me and them still talk to this day. Um, that was awesome. Just the brotherhood that we had in high school, man. It, you just, you can't, you can't, uh, can't take it for granted. And I definitely didn't. That is awesome. So you, uh, in high school, that's really funny. I actually had no idea you started off at running back. Um, how hard did you like? Were you just scared of like you know not getting as many touches going into receivers? Something you haven't done before. You know you were, you know at the you started off the two year, first two years at running back, right? So thinking off about like how hard yeah. you fought for that, like what was the biggest decision like, that made you think like okay maybe I'll give receiver a shot? Like what pushed you to possibly give receiver a shot? Uh, me just put my faith into God. Talked to my dad. Um, I talked to my dad and was like, "Hey, you know, do I really want to do this?" And he said, "Just pray about it. Just pray about it. I'm like whatever stress you have, anxiety, put on the Lord, and He will open another window of opportunity, another door of opportunity. Just something to give you the best opportunity to succeed. And that's what I'm all about. I'm all about opportunity. Um, I've gotten very few opportunities, but I will say, with every opportunity that I've had, um, I've ran with it. And I've done great things. Um, I know how to." basically win uh, i mean I'm, I'm a fighter i'm a competitor i don't like losing and that was the spot at receiver uh to better the team and you know i i decided just to stay humble and say you know what great thanks i'll take that and i, I ran with it and you know it is what it is now and that was part of the decision making and going to receiver uh, yeah I, I think you definitely do not regret going to receiver seeing how it turned out <laughs> <laughs> Um, no doubt. Just like I mean, just like Julian Edelman, man. He was a quarterback, and now look at him. He's exactly he's winning stay. Super Bowls and MVP at receiver. Yeah. Yeah, and now potential. You know, people are saying he's forcing his way into Canton. Potentially, he keeps playing like this. You know, with these MVPs and Super Bowls, and um, you know, uh, so in high school, he deserves it. Yeah, Drew, uh, Julian. He is. He is fought just like I, just like you. You guys are both competitors. That's one thing that I would definitely like see both or in the both of you. Um. Uh, in high school, your senior year, can you tell me a little bit about your recruiting process? How many offers uh, did you get? Because I know you said you had Arkansas and Auburn. Did you have any other schools showing interest? Um. So I had Arkansas State. They were the first team that offered me, um, and I committed to them on the spot. And that was with Coach Malzahn and, and Rhett Lashley and a bunch of those guys. Um, I wanted to go to them so bad. But I knew I needed to go visit some other schools. Tulsa was interested. Oklahoma State was interested. A um, bunch of D2 schools. But really, no D2 schools, didn't. they didn't really offer me. Um, every time they kept calling me saying, hey, we want you to, uh, we want you to come for a visit. Um, but we're not going to offer you, man. We know you can play at the D1 level. We don't want to put more stress on you um, than it already is. And I was like, I, I don't have, like, but two D1 offers, and if I know I don't really want to go there, which I should have never doubted myself, but I did at one point and said, you know, if I don't want to go there, then, I mean, I need, I need to go to D school, D2 school. school. Like, I was, like, anxious to go. Like, I was like, hey, I want more offers. <laughs> yeah. They said, they said, no, man, like, you're going to play D1 football, and you got to accept it. And I was like, okay, okay, great. This uh, five foot nine, 160 pound now uh, is about to go play D1 football. This makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> So they're like, okay, great. Uh, so I decided just to take some more visits at some uh, bigger colleges, and eventually Auburn offered. And from there, I mean, every other team offered, like Vanderbilt. Uh, Vanderbilt was one big big school that offered, but I told them on the call, I said, you know what, I appreciate you guys uh, you know, reaching out to me and giving me this offer, but you know, we really never developed a relationship. I felt like it was just kind of like a one-and-done deal. Um you know, I don't want to take up your scholarship, so I'm going to have to, you know, deny it. You know, I know I'm denying free school, but, yeah. uh, you know, my heart's somewhere else. And they said, you know, we, that was a very tough call for me, being 17, 18 years old and going into college. Um, so they accepted it and they liked it. But, I mean, that was just one of four or five phone calls I had to make to tell guys that I was going somewhere else. And eventually Arkansas offered and that was the only school I wanted. I was like, yes, thank God. It, it was two weeks before signing day and couldn't have been in a better position. I jumped all over that in a heartbeat. I mean, but not, not, I mean, like, besides the fact that it was an SEC school, like I was an hour away from home and I always challenged myself. And that was where 
I felt like God was leading me to. That is awesome, man. Um, that's crazy. Two weeks before National Signing Day. You, um, so you said it was Coach B that offered? So Coach Tim Horton, I'm sure you know that name. Mm-hmm. Um, he was he was a running back coach, OC. He, he did a bunch of special teams coordinator stuff um, at Arkansas for numerous years his yeah. his dad was a coach he's got coaching in his blood <laughs> and okay. uh yeah and uh he he ended up staying there um a couple days after uh coach smith the interim uh, he was let go and basically tim horton was like you know it's 50 50 right now for me um i arkansas needs you uh to play for the razorbacks um, the university needs you to play for the Razorbacks. I know this is weird. We don't have a head coach, but I, I can promise you one thing. I'm going to give you a scholarship, but I can also promise you another thing. I'm probably not going to be here tomorrow. And I was like, and wow. I was like, I'm really not committing to a coaching staff at all. I'm committing to a school. I'm committing to a state. I'm committing yeah. to these, these teammates, these guys that I'm about to play with and, and eventually lead to multiple bowl game victories. <laughs> and it was an easy decision, honestly. Um, I jumped all over it, and then the next day, like I said, he got hired at Auburn, and that same day he was hired, he offered me a scholarship. <laughs> so I was like, wow. So Tim Tim, and I are really close. I still talk, talk to him this, to this day, and we text back and forth, and he's just a good guy. He's, he's really the only reason why I'm in the shoes um, that I am right now and, and the position I am right now because he's the one that at first gave me the opportunity um, to play at Arkansas, but Coach B did honor my scholarship and he's another big reason why um you know the person i am today that is that is crazy that he, he a huge straight up was he was honest with you he said this school needs you the university needs you but i'm also going to tell you i'm not going to be here tomorrow and then the next day he went ahead and went to auburn he offered you whenever you've been to auburn that is that's crazy um going back yeah to, it was quick but i mean it was all good. Yeah, going back to um, Coach B, like he honored the scholarship. Overall, how was your relationship with Coach B? Emma? It was good. I mean, the first two years, you know, we were still trying to figure out each other and like feel each other out and see, you know, if he was all about uh, changing, changing the program. And you know, of course, I was the first guy that you know bought into it. And I'm always, I'm always for the team, nothing but the team, and I support Coach B from the get go. Still do to this day. Um, we had, you know, we had some encounters, you know, every now and then, but I mean, that's what coaches and players do. He wanted more out of me. I wanted more out of him and we eventually got it. And some things we agreed on it and some things we didn't agree, but at the end of the day, you know, did we win? And most of the time, whenever I was there, it was, yeah, we won. And he went over 50%. And that's, you now that was the moral of the story, uh, with, with me and coach B. I just, it was one and oh each week and, you got you got to please me this week, or else you're not going to play next week. And that's all I tried to do. And I went into his office multiple times, and I was like, Coach B, um, you know, I think I should be playing. I think I should be playing. Drew, you're a sophomore. Relax. You'll get your time. Okay. Well, when is my time going to come up? I only have two more years left. I'm trying to make an impact. I actually thought about transferring after my sophomore year because I caught ten passes, had three touchdowns, did some great things in the return game played all special teams and I still wasn't starting on offense. And I was like, these guys that are playing over me, like they're my boys, but I mean, I, I know I can make a difference. I know I can make an impact. And he just, he, he said, just be patient, be patient. I was like, man, I was like, okay. Junior year came rolling around and he finally gave me the opportunity after four guys got injured, three guys got injured. Um, Jared Cornelius, he broke his arm. Yeah. Um, Cody Hollister, he, I think he, he, pulled his hamstring or broke oh he broke his foot cody hollister broke his yep. foot and then keon keon hatcher broke his foot and i was like crap i mean i'm the third on the depth chart last on the depth chart basically i was getting the freshmen were playing over me i was like this is crazy i, mean, I don't understand what's going on and then he gave me the opportunity after uh, toledo he called me and was like hey you're our number one guy i'm sitting here with uh coach enos and, and coach smith and it's it's 10 30 at night and he calls me and goes hey drew um, it's Coach B, and I was like, "What's up, Coach B?" He goes, "Hey, man, um, going into Texas A&M week, you know, we thought about who we want starting, and uh, you know, you got you got a lot on your plate right now, um, trying to back these guys up. But since they're not playing, there's no one to back up, so it's going to be your time, your time to shine. We got all the faith and trust in you in the world, and you know, we we believe you can do great things, and it's going to be you and Dominique Reed out there on the outside, you know, one-two punch, 
So, you know, best of luck to you this week. And I mean, it was really like NFL business type stuff. Yeah. And I was like, holy crap, like, this is weird. Like, my head coach just basically called me to tell me I'm hired. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. I was like, I thought I was already hired to play, but okay, I guess I'm going to, I guess I'm going to do it now. Well, that next game, okay, I, I earned Coach B's respect and his trust. I went 180 yards, had a couple touchdowns against A&M. We ended up losing by a touchdown in overtime or yeah. something like that. But, I mean, dude, it was I, – I came out of nowhere, and from that game on, I had two or three 100-yard receiving games, and everybody was like, holy crap, where'd this little white kid come from? <laughs> <laughs> started. They all started comparing me to Julian Edelman and Danny Amendola and Wes Welker. And, and it, it was one after the other, and I was like, I don't – and I said this in a press conference. I was like – because, I mean, out of no disrespect for – those those type of receivers, the slot receivers, or the outside receivers, but I was like, I don't want to be labeled as a white slot receiver. I don't. <laughs> I'm, I I want to I, I want to be recognized as a as a wide receiver, and it doesn't matter what color I am, how I play. Like it, I'm not about that life. I don't discriminate. Uh, I'm all for one. I'm everybody is treated equally in my family, and I, I I feel like that was a point that I had to make to a bunch of a bunch of uh, media. Uh, people and personnel like I had to get that out there to, to just basically recognize uh, real recognize real and that's why I was like no one no one recognizes the color of your skin in this game I mean you got black you got white you got Asian you got Mexicans you got you got everybody playing this game and that's what football is all about and that's basically what I what I had to say to those guys after <sighs> three or four games of playing and it, it was crazy but th I think that gained a lot of coach B's, coach B's respect as well 